Welcome to a new video and we have another part in the money testing money making method series now this is being recorded straight after the last one which if you haven't seen it you'll see the score at the end of the video anyway so um you should go watch it now if you don't care and you want to just know the score it does pretty well like very well If the aim is to beat that, it might be a tough challenge. But, it should be a challenge that we win. Because we are doing Merchantman, slash Trade Empire, slash Flavored Trades, slash Flavored Trades, with, um, what is it, the bottom path farm, which is, I know it's Wall Street, uh, Central Market. If you didn't know, central markets give a 10% up to 10 central markets, which is a plus 100% to um, flavoured trades. So, if that's what we're doing, I reckon there's a good chance that we're going to beat the last score. I reckon we could get into the 700k today. Now, if you didn't watch the last video, you wouldn't know that the math that was used was quite and complicated because of the way favor trades works. Favor trades gives you a 95% trade when there's three favor trades back. Now I got around this with a little bit of estimation, but if you um are a bit confused about how I work it out at the end, please leave a comment and I'll try and um, explain it in more detail. Anyway, we see a lot of balloons coming by, and um, getting the first. Merchantman is quite the challenge. Now, are Merchantman hard to get? No. Are Merchantman expensive? Yeah. So just like Bottom Path Monkey Farms. I mean, yeah, just like Bottom Path Monkey Farms, it's hard to get going. But that's how you use Benjamin, because he's a he's like a quick start fire guide. Now a few things we have to point out from the last video. Um we're not using a map with a load of water, but because of what we're doing today, we shouldn't need it because we're gonna we're gonna be stacking um, other farms as well, which are like they take they take like twenty k to make one bottom path, and we need ten of them, so that's two hundred k anyway. So we should be fine. But if it does come to it, I do have paddling pools. I can at least buy some paddling pools. Um, that's only if it comes to it, though. Uh, another thing is, one of the reasons why this can be so good is because, and solely for the reason that it does so much damage. If you get a load of these stacked up, they do do a lot of damage, and that really does help. So we're getting another one. Yes, it's going to take a few, few turns to get there. But once you get them down, you're getting like a couple per turn and then I got a great shot on accident, but we're going to need it eventually. So I'll just have to live with that. Put it on strong. There we get these stacked up and I'll catch you back when we have a whole, this whole area filled with merch. All right, see you in a bit. It shouldn't be too long anyway. Now, as we're getting close to finishing, I'm going to bring you back and just let you, um, let you see what happens near the end. Now, we have a Moab coming. So we're going to get Overdrive and a couple more fires, but because of Benjamin, it just popped instantly. And now we can finish up the Sea of Merchantman. Now we're going to go straight for Favourite Trades. We're going to do basically what we did last time. Trade to favor trades, get all the favor trades done, and then get a trade empire, and then get a bottom path. This might not be the most efficient way, but it's the way I'm going to do it because it's fair. The only difference between this and the last one is the fact that when I get up to 20, I'm going to stop and I'm already. I. How do I express words? Let me think about it. When I get to 20 will be a bit later because after I filled all these up with trade empire stuff we're gonna get 
these which already make money and it'll be fine because that's where I'm doing it and if you complain I don't care. There we go. A nice easy way to explain explain my views. Now as you can see the uh, the boats are ruining anything that comes by and that's by purpose you know we wouldn't want it to be too easy for the uh, field balloon. Well, as we're almost finishing out the flavoured trade with all the flavour, the extra spice, we're going to have to start thinking about how we're going to do the uh, banana plant. And I think I'm going to do one at a time because we then get 10% each time and I reckon that will make a bit more money and make a lot more sense. But you'll have to see that in a second so I'll be back as soon as I get Trade Empire and then we'll be ready to go on to the next part of this whole um, money making strategy okay all right see you in a bit now we've got the Trade Empire and um, it is a bit late in the game we're at round 56 but nothing wrong with being at round 56 we're getting the central market now obviously if you watch my other video you know you cross path valuable but we're going to continue to get these central markets and then we're going to get a 10% and a 10% buff and a 10% buff. I don't think you can't understand. We're about to make P. But it's one at a time and it's going to be a slow process. But this is what I do to make money. This is my method. So I want to prove to you that my method is the best way to make money in the game. And I'm trying to do that. And this is the best way I can explain it to you. So, as we rip through them, that uh, BFB, we get enough money for our second one. Moving up to two buffs there. And we're just going to keep going. It's taking me about two rounds to get one. So this should move up to one around. And then when it's at one around, it'll move up to getting close to 16k just by this itself now you might not believe me but we're getting to a point where it's these make a th over a thousand each over a thousand now as you can see we're not doing great against round 63 but we ain't doing bad and we're gonna clear it perfect now we've got another one we should probably move into making uh having a bit more defense but Defense don't make money now, do it. Although, saying that, I am going to get all of the faster shooting on all of these. Because I really think it's quite important that these do as much damage as possible. Because I don't want to lose. Because losing makes the video bad. Well, it doesn't make the video bad. It means I have to redo it. it makes the video a blunder and waste my time. So, even though we might lose a little bit of money. I save time, and that's really, at the end of the day, what I care about. And my loyal, loyal fans. Talking about loyal fans, if you're not a loyal fan yet, subscribe. Or if you're a loyal fan that doesn't subscribe, subscribe. Only like, a percent of the people that watch me are subscribed, and if... Five percent of the people that watch me subscribe, then I'd be at a thousand subs. If I'm at a thousand subs, I can do more interesting videos, because I can put money towards them. Anyway, enough of me selling out. We're gonna get, I think our final one. Nope, second. Not even second to last, we. Really. We have three more to get. Okay, sorry. I'm, uh, I'm kind of rushing it. Alright, now our... Second to last, our penultimate one. there and bang and here we're about to get our final one bang and let's take a quick break find some portable lakes okay. and get these down now we're going to slow the game down i found out last time you can get three in here pretty easily maybe four if you know you put your whole life behind it but i can't be asked and we're going to quickly get to 20 and then see how much we make. We make around from um, 
just a flavored trade. At the moment we're at 11, so we're still a bit off. But as you can see, we're getting plenty of money around from both. I mean, each of these makes a decent amount. We're not going to get a Monkey Wall Street because that's not what we're testing today. You would get a Monkey Wall Street at some point, but if I was doing that test, I'd call this video Monkey Wall Street. And I already have a video like that, so um, go watch that one if you really want to see Monkey Wall Street. Anyway, moving in to the overtime, we're at 17, meaning we need one more portable late, and we finish the strategy. Now, when I finish the strategy, I'm literally not going to do anything. We're not going to make any more money. We're just going to sit there and let our money tick up. So, there we go. Now let's have a quick test on how much we make per round. So we're at 30,200. And now we're at... We made 1,440 that round. Now on the big old chip, we're at uh, 33920. I had to write that down because it's just such a big number. When this round ends, which will be quite a while because it's round 77, which is a chunky round. Um, I'm going to quickly just make sure I don't die in the game. There we go. Um, we're now at 35,560, which means we gained... Oh my god, what is my handwriting? Did we gain the same 1440? Oh well, you don't gain any more money from this guy apparently. I, I've been lied to. Anyway. Let's just keep watching. I, I check, I'll be I'll be back when the video I mean when I'm we're in free play. Okay, so uh see you in a second. So guys, we are now in free play. So remembering how we did it last time, we have to count the amount of um, amount of these boats that we sell for a better price at 95%. So let's just quickly note down the number we have now. We have 99, how much uh, raw cash we have. We have uh, 99464. So how many boats do we have at 95%? We have the one, the two, the three, the the 5, the 6, the 7, the 8, the 9, the 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So, now we have the 18. We take a quick note of that. So, 18 when and we're now at the 80 went for this and we now have 380130 now these we average at 85 percent because as they go they make a bit less so at 85 then we sold two and that was four and now we're i mean four 337 and then this is 75% everything else can go now so bye 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 this is all at 75% um now if you see how much money we have we've actually beat multiple farming strategies on just sold which is a first because This just shows that we've made a lot of money, and I reckon we're in the 800k's, but I don't want to say anything too far. So, getting into the math, we'll get my trusty phone out. So, we sold 18 for 95%, and that's... That's 380. 130, minus what we started with, which was... 9... Four six four, and we saw 180k at 95%. So divide by 0.95. 
So this is 190.175. That's the golden number there. Now, 400k, which is not just 400k, it's actually got 400k, 237 minus 380, 130. Sorry guys, my uh, big fat thumb, big fat thumb's gone away. That's 20k selling for 85%. That's 23, two, two. wait, 23773. And then we have 75% on 676653 minus 400,000. 237. That's all of this big number by the way, 0.75, which makes 368421. Adding up all of these big boy numbers, we get 199464 plus 190175 plus 368. 421 which equals 758,060 now that is a lot of money going back to what we made in our other ones the monkey wall street was at 610 and the one just before this made 636 that is 120k more than the second higher. So, thanks for watching. If you found this interesting, leave a comment, like, subscribe, check out my streams, join the Discord, come to my stream to join the Discord, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.